Hello everybody. Our lesson for today, it will be lesson 5.2, properties of exponents and radicals. Already the properties of exponents and radicals, I presented them in a previous uh, uh, video for the lesson 5.1a. So now let's use these properties and simplify the expressions. On page 248, we have question number one. How can you rewrite each expression using properties of exponents? So you can see here inside we have a fraction and all of it, it has, to it has an exponent. So remember that a over b all to exponent m equals a to m over b to m. So all we have to do is to distribute the exponent. And 1 times m is m, 1 times m is m. So this property, I'm going to use it here. So fraction line, I keep it. And the exponent, I will distribute it. So 1 times 1 over 2, it will be 3 to exponent 1 over 2 over the base 32. I can rewrite it as a power. And this is 2 to 5 all to exponent 2 over 5 and all to exponent 1 over 2. So I use the power of a power equals the numerator I cannot simplify it so I keep it as it is between the exponents between the numbers here we have the times we have the bracket and the bracket it means that we have to multiply so when we multiply simplify by 5 simplify by 2 it will be equals to 2 so in the simplest form this is what we get we can continue the rational exponent, write it converted into radical, so it will be square root of 3 over 2. So always keep it like this, or we put it in simplest radical form. Let's try more. Point B 2 times A, one third, times A times B, 2 half, all to 2 thirds. So we have to use here, as you see, the power of a power. So remember that a times b all 2m equals a 1 times m, m times b 1 times m, m. So this we are going to use into here to remove the bracket. 2 times a to exponent 1 third times the base a, keep it. And exponent 1, between the exponent is the bracket, so we have to multiply. 1 times 2 over 3, 2 over 3, times b, 1 over 2 times 2 over 3, simplify by 2, it will be exponent 1 over 3. Collect the like terms, the like terms, it means the terms that they have the same base, and base a, base a, it is times between the power, so the exponents, remember, we will add them. It will be 2 times a, 1 over 3 plus 2 thirds is 3 to 3, which is 1. So exponent 1, we don't write it, times b to exponent 1 over 3. We can rewrite it. This is rational exponent, so we can write it as a uh, radical. So it will be 2a cubic root of b. Let's try more. How can you rewrite each expression? These questions are on page 248. So we, we, I will take the a, fourth root. Remember that the values inside, you have to rewrite them as powers. 81, it's 3 to 4, times a to exponent 8, times b, 5, it is not divisible by 4. So 5, we will split it into two numbers such that one of the numbers, it is divisible by 4. So then it will be, instead of 5, I will put 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1, it is 5. And this equals 4th root, 3 to 4, times 
a to exponent 8 times b, the plus between the exponents, it came from 2 power, so b to 4 times b. Now let's see where can we simplify. 4 is divisible by 4, so the base 3, I keep it, and 4 over 4, it is 1, times the base a, I keep it, 8 divided 4 is 2, times the base b, and 4 divided 4, it is 1. And this b, the exponent it is 1, and 1 is not divisible by 4, so in here we cannot simplify, so this b, we will keep it inside the root. So, fourth root of b. Then in simplest form, it will be 3 a square b, fourth root of b. Let's try more. Cubic root of x4, 4, it is not divisible by 3. So, we will split the 4 into 3 plus 1. So it will be x, 3 plus 1 times y squared over 125, it is 5 cubed times x and equals cubic root of x cubed times x times y squared over 5 cubed times x. Simplify the fraction by common factor and now equals 3 divisible by 3 we can simplify inside. So I will write fraction and see x base keep it. 3 over 3 is 1. 2 is not divisible by 3 so this we will keep it inside of the root. So it will be cubic root of y squared. 5 base keep it, and 3 over 3 is 1. So this is the answer in simplest form. Page 249. What is the reduced radical form of each expression? So we have to simplify. Then it will be the fifth root of 7 over 16. It is 2 to 4 times x cube and this equals none of the exponents are divisible by 5 and more than 4 3 they are less than 5 so then we cannot change the way we write them we have to keep them as they are all we have to do is to distribute the rule to numerator denominator so it will be remember i will write it here the nth root of a to b it is equals nth root a to nth root b, so split it. So it will be fifth root of 7 over fifth root. We cannot simplify, so I'll put back 16x cubed. Point b, fourth root, 27, it is 3 cubed times x squared times square root of 3 times x. The two radicals, they have different nth root. This is fourth root and this is square root. So we cannot simplify the radicals. We cannot write one radical. Then what I can do is to, uh, to remove the radical. So it will be 3 to exponent 3 over 4 times x to exponent 2 over 4 is 1 over 2 times 3 to exponent 1 over 2 times x to exponent 1 over 2. Collect the like terms and like terms they are the factors that they have the same base. So same base, keep the base and the exponents add them. So 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 times base x 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And this equals 3. 3 over 4 
plus 1 over 2 to plus or minus fractions. Remember, we need the same denominator. So, times 2. So, 2 plus 3, it will be 5 over 4. So, 3 exponent 5 over 4 times x. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, it is 1. So, we got the simplest rational form, but we need simplest radical form. So, then it will be equals. Uh, the rational exponent, it came from radical 4th, 3 to 5, times x. 5 is greater than 4. 5 is not divisible by 4. So, that we can simplify, we split the 5 into 4 plus 1. So, 4th root of 3 to 4 times 3 times x. We can simplify into here. So, it will be... Three times fourth root. So four divided by four one. So we can simplify here. This three it goes outside. But this three, the exponent one, and one is not divisible by four. And times x, so we can write three x fourth root of 3. This is the simplest radical form. Let's try more. On page 250, question 4. How can you rewrite each expression in a simpler form? So, let's see. We have cubic root of 2000. So, I will take each radical and write it in the simplest form, and after I will come back and move, uh, put it into the expression. So we have cubic root of 2000. So we have to rewrite it in simplest radical form, then we look after 2000 to factor it. In 2000, we have three zeros, ones, tens, uh, uh, ones, tens, and hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. So this it came from 1000 so we can say that 2000 it's cubic root of 2 times 1000 where 1000 as a power it is 2 times 10 cube so we can simplify in here 3 divided by 3 it's 1 so the 10 goes outside the root and the 2 will keep it inside cubic root of 2 the second radical already, it's the simplest radical form, so we cannot simplify more. We will take the cubic root of 128, and this equals cubic root one hundred and twenty-eight. It is two times sixty-four, and sixty-four. It is 2 to 6. Yes? So instead of 128, I can put 2 times 2 to 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So we can simplify here. It will be 2. 6 divided by 3, 2 squared. The second 2, this one, the exponent 1 and 1 is not divisible by 3. So I'll keep it inside the root cubic root of 2 and equals 2 square for cubic root of 2. Now we come back and we can write cubic root of 2000, we found it 10 cubic root of 2 plus square root of 2 minus 4 cubic root of 2. The terms are like if they have the same radicand with the same nth root and the radicand it's the same. So we have like term into here and it will be equals 10 minus 4 it is 6 cubic root of 2 plus square root of 2 and this is the simplest radical form. Let's try more. I will take the radical separate as I did before. So square root 20 equals square root. 20, it came from 4 times 5. And 4 is 2 square 
times 5. So we can simplify in here. 2 divided 2, it is 1. So the base 2 goes outside and the 5 will keep it inside. One exponent is not divisible by 2. I take the 600. Square root 600. I will factor it. It will be square root 6 times 100. And this equals square root 6 times 10 squared equals. We can simplify the 10 squared because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the 10 base goes outside. But for the 6, we cannot simplify. We'll keep it inside as it is. And the last one, square root of 125. 125, it's the perfect cube of 5. But 3 is not divisible by 2, so we will split the 3 into 2 and 1. So it will be 5, 2 plus 1, which equals square root. 5 squared times 5 and equals, we can simplify in here, 5 square root of 5. So we come back and we can write. Square root 20, we found it 2 square root of 5. Minus square root 600, it is 10 square root of 6. Minus square root 125. It is 5 square root of 5 equals square root 5. Square root 5, they are like terms. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3 square root of 5 minus 10 square root of 6. They are not like terms. The radical, it has the same end root, square root, square root. But the radical, it's different, so we cannot simplify more. Page 251, multiply. So now we have to multiply radical expressions. But if you pay attention a little bit here, the first and the second factor, the first one it's like a minus b times a plus b, which equals a square minus b square, which is difference between the perfect square. So we have to, we can apply it here easier than distribute. So x times x, x squared, negative, positive, negative, square root 10 times square root 10, it is 10, and this is the simplest form. Equals square root 6 times 5 plus square root 3. Use the distributive property. It will be 5 square root of 6 plus square root 6 times square root 3, it is square root 18, and equals 18, it is 9 times 2, which means 9 is the perfect square of 3, so 3 squared times 2. So then we can say square root 18, it is square root of 3 squared times 2. We can simplify the 3 squared. It will be equals 3 square root of 2. So instead of 80, square root 18, we can write 3 square root of 2. So here, 5 square root 6 plus 3 square root of 2. This is the simplest radical form. On page 251, what is the reduced radical form of the expression? The expressions, they are fractions. So what we have to do to, to simplify this fraction is to rationalize the denominator, which means to make the radical in place of denominator disappear. And to do this, we will do times by the conjugate of the denominator. So I will take the first one, 5 minus square root 2 over... 2 minus square root 3. So to rationalize the denominator, we have to do times the conjugate of the denominator. Don't forget to put brackets because numerator has two terms. And this equals. This it will be 2 times 2, 4. 
negative positive negative and square root 3 times square root 3 so 4 minus 3 for the numerator we will use the distributive property so 5 times 2 10 5 times square root 3 plus 5 square root 3 now we'll distribute the negative square root of 2 times 2 so negative 2 square root 2 and negative square root 2 times square root 3 it will be negative square root 6 4 minus 3, it is 1. And no like terms in place of numerator, so it will be 10 plus 5 square root 3 minus 2 square root 2 minus square root of 6. Let's try more. B, negative 4x over 1 minus square root of x. So multiply the denominator by its conjugate and do the same thing for the numerator and it will be equals. 1 times 1, 1. Negative positive, negative. And square root x times square root x, it is x. Distribute. Negative 4x times 1 is negative 4x minus 4x square root of x. Thank you.